let's do our first topic for today because I want to talk about pool tables on cruise ships. Just open up that link on the first one. This is great. There right, we go. It's like this is a. Uh, I'm pretty sure today I found out. No, interesting is the F word. Um, <laughs> is the Reddit link? Is Here that working? Okay, so have a look at this, and I'll describe what's going on. So it's a cruise ship on a. Uh, it's a pool table on a cruise ship, which you naturally assume would be impossible, right? I mm-hmm. mean, hi, the bell balls are going to be mm-hmm. going everywhere. But they have like a gyro. So what we're looking at is essentially some dudes wandering around the pool table, stri- or a billiard table or whatever. Wow. And, and you can see how they're struggling to stand up because it's really pitching around. But the pool table stays perfectly level while everything else moves because it's got this crazy gyro, which keeps everything in order. That's actually very impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. It's I, cool, right? Yeah, because... I don't know if you've ever been on like a really throwing boat. Dude, it, have I ever? I got, I get so sick. Do you? Yeah. yeah. You just, I, I, this is the one thing in life that I actually am not afraid or not embarrassed about taking pills for. Uh, we talked about this before. Yeah. See sickness pills. Take one in the yeah. morning. You'll be fine. It's, it just saves the day in every situation. I feel like they do make me feel like a piece of, piece of crap though. The, the pills, like they make me so tired. Oh. I take them on planes when I just want to sleep. Do you? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're pretty good. I don't know. I find, I find them great sedatives. I'm not sure what's in it. It's a Kinadrel. I don't know what it is in British, but here okay. in Czech, it's called Kinadrel. Okay. Well, who knows? So basically, it's just a gyro underneath. Now, I had heard that a cooler use, I mean, a more advanced use of this, was on Air Force One, mm. right? The president's plane, yeah. president of the US, in case they need to have emergency surgery. So obviously on a plane, it's going oh. to be jostling around and they'll have like a, a doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'll be they'll like, be oh God, <laughs> how did the president die? Well, he was having an oper- emergency operation on the plane and we accidentally, you know, it's cut some arteries. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one to his face. Oh, well, oh. there was turbulence. <laughs> so I, I heard, uh, um, I mean, I not, not heard. I'm sure I read it somewhere. It wasn't just someone in the pub saying yeah. that they had uh, a surgical suite on Air Force One okay. that was stabilized like this pool table so if mm. they needed to they get the president on there and uh, not the I, actually it wasn't it must not be the ho- uh the just the surgical table it would have to be the whole, the room, whole room right, right. because well, if, you, if, if someone, the surgeon's got to be standing on exactly, it exactly yeah but i could and i swear i read this but i couldn't find anywhere to back this up i couldn't find anyone any things about air force one and i I'm, normally my google foo is strong and i couldn't find anything like yeah. about this if someone can link is, if someone's watching this or listening to this and thinking, oh, yeah, I know what Simon's talking about, please link me to the uh, to the Air Force One surgical suite thing because I'd like to know about this. What I'm curious about is in this video... Yeah. Um, oh, in the pool table video. The pool table vi- video. We can see that it's gyroscoping. It's sort of going up and down and left and right. Yeah. But there doesn't seem to be any extra space on any of the sides. So I, it's like... What do you mean? I mean, like... Say for instance, like if you're reversing a car, if you, if you're parking a car and you turn into the into the right, the back left bit will kind of kick out, and it's the same concept here that if one bit goes down, the other bit should sort of kick out, and it shouldn't really fit as I it think... comes out. Um, and sorry, I know this isn't a great bit for the no, podcast. No, no, no. I just want to describe but, but is... what we're looking at because I, I'm trying to see where you're coming from. So we're, the, it's a regular pool table, basically. Instead of getting four legs, as you'd imagine on a regular pool table, it's kind of sitting on what looks like a, you know, like a chest, a large wardrobe that's been tilted on its side that I would say is about 30 centimeters a foot uh, in on each side from the size of the overall pool table, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's just like there's a cushion under there. You know, there's like four pistons or whatever. Yeah. And it's just got enough wiggle room it's in that 30 centimeters. You reckon, yeah? I reckon. Yeah. I mean, oh, obviously. Think, oh, oh, hang on. Okay. Wait, what are you thinking? I've seen this completely hang wrong. On, wait, what are you seeing? I thought it was coming in and out the floor. I thought it was like no, bouncing no, no, from no, the bottom. No, 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 no. It's no, underneath, no, no. Yeah, it's it's underneath it. Got exactly. It. It's all built into that wardrobe like ah, thing. Ah, that, that, that blew my mind. Yeah. This to is... be fair, to be fair, I've cheated a little bit because I've done some looking into you these into devices. It, yeah. Um, <laughs> Speaking of that, so load up. There's a link there to Stable.no, which I guess is like a Norway or back Norwegian up, company. Bit, bit back in here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So just grab that link. This is absolutely incredible. I just want to go through all of these because, well, first of all, do you know what a DJI Osmo is? Yeah. Okay. No. Cool. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no, okay. no. What's, what's a DJI Osmo? It's like a. a it's a, a consumer grade. Sted- DJI are the company that make the the mo- they're most famous for making drones, right? Okay. okay. So you can like I don't know you fly up a drone and it has super steady cameras, mm-hmm. which is incredible. I, I 
I don't know. I have one of these drones. Oh, does it, use, does does it use one of those? Uh, what are they called? Gimbals. The gimbal. Exactly. Yeah. So they also have a handheld one that you can use. I have it over there. I should have set it up yeah. for this. Oh. So uh, like if we go to shoot like a little documentary or something, it's amazing for B-roll because you don't need to set up a tripod. You can wander along with it. Also, if you're doing like a, a run and gun. So if, I, if I'm like walking along saying something to the camera, you can just use this camera. Someone, anyone without any skill can hold it. And it's just perfectly smooth. And it looks like you're on Oi, a Fred. Dolly. Fred. Point and shoot. <laughs> yeah, really. You can have anyone. Just press the big red button and you're good to go. Uh, but I thought that was cool. That kind of stabilization technology is cool. Okay. This is something for the ultra rich. Oh. So basically, it's a website called... Uh, anyone who's listening to this, definitely go check it out. Because if you're... Uh, or find the video of this. Or if you're very rich, go check it out. <laughs> yeah. I, wait, it's one of those websites that doesn't even have prices. It's just like Inquire. Uh, because you know it's, it's like gonna the, be uh, it's like the what is it aston martin um stroller uh, push chair i think oh, it's, no, is it God. aston martin or no it was, it was, who does the phantom rolls royce rolls royce, rolls royce uh, they pro- they produce a, a baby stroller a baby God. push chair and it's one of those there's no price they just these things are uh, you have even, to know someone to get one even crap strollers are so uh, strollers push chairs are so expensive mm. we ours is we got one middle of the road fairly average it was a thousand dollars. What, dude? I'm no, not, you will find this out. No. Yes. Ugh. I mean, it comes. It's a three thing. So you get a car seat. You get a the thing for the small kid, and then you get the thing for the kid when it's uh, you know a year old or six months old. Dude, this this shit is it's it's crazy. I'm flying to Asia for a thousand pound. I'm going to Bali, and Ooh. that got, that cost a thousand pound. Wait, no, your less, ticket was a thousand pounds. That's it pretty pricey. For there, a... back, and all the accommodation, and all the food while we're there will, will be a thousand pounds in total. Dude, what? Wait, I, <laughs> that's a deal. That You're there for deal. two weeks. Yeah, with all the food. With all the food. How did you find this? Well, because well food's really cheap in indonesia uh so i'll make sure it fits into that budget yeah uh but the accommodation is really cheap it's like it's like 30 even nice places apart from the one it's i think it's voted the best uh the best hotel in the world uh, which is in ubud in bali yeah and it's the what is it the five uh, the four seasons the four seasons oh, yeah, four, four, four i was gonna seasons. say the five season the, 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 four, the four seasons in in ubud in bali is voted the most exotic hotel in the world that's great four um, seasons is outrageous. but yeah no everything's pretty much about 30 50 bucks um like accommodation for the night there so it's all fairly fairly affordable so yeah okay yeah no well wait till you have a kid and you gotta buy a push jam man <laughs> Good lord. Kiss goodbye to Bali. <laughs> it's insane. It. I mean, I was like, <laughs> can we buy a used one? She's like, please, can we not buy a used one? And I'm like, oh, come on. Thousand, thousand, uh, uh, 20,000 crowns, thousand dollars. She's only going to grow out of it. Isn't she? <laughs> Dude, this is the thing. I'm like, and we're like, oh, yeah, well, we can use it for the next kid. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, then we're second hand, isn't it? So why can't we just get a second hand one to begin with? <laughs> okay, let's get back to Fine. things that ultra-rich people have rather than complaining about normal problems. Normal people. <laughs> um, these guys don't have to think about this at all. Okay, essentially, what this website is, it makes stabilized things for super yachts or like, Ooh. I guess, cruise ships as well, but I don't know. I think it's more for just super yachts. Go, don't, 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 oh, don't scroll oh, down, man. Oh. I want to go through these. It's Sorry. amazing. Stable bed. So it's just a bed that stabilizes. So if you're, you know, I think I'm on my super yacht. I quite like being rocked to bed by the slow motion of waves. Nope, you can stabilize it. So you don't have to, you know, you can have a gyroscopic bed that's nice and silent as well. Of course, the billiard table. Mm -hmm. We've seen that in action. And this is the one we I saw inside. So yeah, it's just the, you know, the cupboard underneath. Oh, there it is. There's the pistons. pistons. Yeah, 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 yeah. very clever. Dining table. This one's absolutely gold. Can you imagine? Imagine how cool this would be. You're sitting on like some some super yacht with Vladimir Putin or whatever. You're having some caviar. Ten foot waves like, outside. Yeah. Imagine there's a big ass storm going on. Everything is jingling around, but all of your guests and you are sitting <laughs> at a fully stabilized dining table. I can just see the waiters flying yeah, side yeah. to side with the drinks, then, like desperately, desperately trying to get, them, through, and then get them on the table get quickly. The table and just sits there perfectly straight. <laughs> and all the waiters like throwing up and shit, and everyone and Putin's like, oh, <laughs> more caviar. <laughs> Uh, scroll down. Stable sun, so uh, a sun deck for your boat. Oh, you can, okay. Uh, nice, which clever. seems so like this is bizarre. Go down. That is that that is sort of unneeded, unneeded kind of. Because we're we're getting more, we're getting more unneeded. Oh wow! The stable wine cabinet. I want one. I don't need one, but yeah, I want me one. too. Well, you might become a wine merchant someday. Ah, we'll so. see. We'll see. Um, Do like my wine. Stable wine cellar. <laughs> I can a have one of those. Wine <laughs> cellar. That's it's incredible, and that's a great looking wine cellar anyway. 
except it's fully stabilized and i guess this is not you know this is just to keep the wines in top notch shape now i i don't mean to be yeah i suppose actually i suppose because there's because sedi- you don't want it jostling there's around sediment in exactly. kind of old wines I, settling. I was gonna say because it, it, it's easy to like not smash the bottles you could just pack them in a bit more but no but in yeah, order you don't to, want it jingling around you don't want them jingling so okay clever like even I, I had a couple of nice bottles of wine in my house and it was hot this summer it was the hottest summer on record mm. and it tastes good anymore no really no yeah it's got too hot got no. too cold not great so you gotta keep keep them in a in a in a uh in a temperature controlled well, wine. I, I drank them <laughs> <laughs> but I, i've got to get a little wine they're, they're, you can get little wine fridges did you know. let them breathe before i had them yeah of course yeah, yeah. good good in a, uh, in a decanter it's one of my favorite words decanter. i don't have a decanter you can use anything you just use like a big jug yeah, but then I don't feel as cool as if I bought like a cool decanter. A lot with a long. Oh, I do have a decanter. A long I just, spout. I just don't have a proper decanter. I've got like, I mean, it's cool. It's like, but it's just for you know pouring the wine into, so it looks nice when you serve it. But I don't have like a proper wide bottomed. Well, it's just know. to get some air to it, isn't it? It's just you it's just need to get rare into it. But have What's you this? been to a? Have you been to George Prime Steak? It's a restaurant in town. No. Oh, dude, they do the full decanting of the wine. They've got like Ooh. a, you know, they've got like a sommelier, and he'll come and he'll pour the wine out into a big thing, and he does all this show. It's great. Check it out. Um, then there's of course the stable gaming zone. Mm-hmm. So you, of can, course, uh, of course, it's like a sort of pod thing that you go into and you can play games and. It looks well, like one Twitch of those... streamers are super rich these days, so they could need these on their yacht, so they can play games and pay for the yacht. Is that a thing? Street what? Twitch, Twitch streaming? Oh, Dude, are they Twitch the ones that do streaming. the games? Are they, they, yeah, they, that yeah, ninja yeah. guy makes like a million dollars a month or something mm-hmm. insane. What? Yeah. Ugh. Of course, Stable Galley, if your chef is very, you know, in need of stability. Stable Library, <laughs> which seems just completely unnecessary. That is totally unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> it's also like, okay, so they've got a picture of old books. And I'm like, so is this like to protect the old books? Because if so, they're on a boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're going to get pretty like mildewy. Um, a bit wet. Stable deck, and, and this is just a boring loss. Oh, yes, uh, stable bowling. Stable bowling. I, you have a bowling alley on your boat. Do you know, I, I have to say, because I don't think it's actually that hard to do all this stability stuff. If no, you but it's business, cool what they put it is, into. This is an amazing, amazing niche that they found here. Yeah. That's a niche for all of our American listeners. Oh, is that how it is? Is it niche they, in Britain and niche in yeah, America? It's a niche. I always wondered. I didn't really know. I thought it was just people. You see everyone talking about marketing. They're talking about niche marketing. <laughs> gotta be um, a niche market. Find, you, find, niche, your niche. find your niche. Um, but no, th- this is a really great niche that, like, if if Pretty I had found right? this, this uh, would be your niche. This, this would, would be, be my niche. niche. Yeah. <laughs> Get yourself a super yacht. Yeah, and then stable <laughs> gym, stable spa, spa, all of that jazz. Stable comfort zone. So I guess that's a lounge. Stable interior. Yeah, okay. okay. They've, got, they've got a lot Wait, of stable stuff. Hang on. There's, I don't know why they don't get it more exciting as you go down, because I almost missed this one. The stable drone landing pad. Nice, nice. So if you want to take your drone off from your boat, but you're worried about it not being stable enough to take off your stabilized drone. <laughs> I banned myself from flying drones. I uh, I flew my friend's drone, Yeah, and it crashed oh yeah and i broke it oh yeah i've been through three of them myself have you what do you film what do you do do you just fly them yeah you fly them you it's, it's pretty cool but they're you know i'm not very good at flying them and i've crashed them a few times but oh. i i got insurance on my new one and I know. I've my, never crashed it we got we got my my wife's father a, um, a a drone for his work he builds bridges oh yeah and um he basically needs to like sort of assess the bridge from yeah, a particular no, angle that. and he <laughs> He he started like taking pictures of it and things like that. And one day he crashed it into the into the into the forest, and he had to go and f- search for it. And he was there looking for like three hours. Oh, Jesus. It, it, was, it was in the undergrowth. It was like really bad. It doesn't survive, surely. No, no it did actually. Oh, it did. Yeah, it did. Jesus, but did. he's never flown it since. I think he he got he got scared. <laughs> there you go. Stable operating theater. Oh yeah, I wanted it on Air Force One though. No. Oh, oh well, never I, mind. I, I want to know if that's the thing. Um. Well. Listeners, let us know if you yeah. know anything about Air Force One. We want to know. Yeah, we've done enough about stabilized things. On I feel like we talk about mega yachts a lot on this podcast. And Air Force One. Have we? Oh, yeah, we have. And yeah. planes. Planes, planes. So. <sighs> We're going to stay away from that from now on. 